Hey everyone, Brad here. Today, an absolutely gorgeous day in San Diego. I wish you could feel how nice it is. Just kind of crazy considering how the rest of you know the country is right now. Um, got good parking today, and, and of course, uh, Atlantis is still closed. I found out now that's to uh, February the second. You can see behind me some of the uh, construction on the new electric eel coaster. So it looks like it's coming along really quick. I mean, it is expected to be open by the. Uh, summer this year so that should be exciting this is pretty upsetting the submarine quest is closed today part of the reason I came here was to check it out but so here we are coming into the entrance looks like there's a pretty good amount of people here today and I'm sure everything's gonna be more busy considering two of the main rides are closed but looks like they still have the Christmas stuff out see they have vintage tees and it's got a Christmas theme on it so they're probably trying to get rid of them. Collect coin pennies. This is the place to be. Got a whole bunch of them here. Right across from the bakery and the SeaWorld store. Here's something pretty neat. You can actually dine over here with the orcas. They do it for breakfast and they do it for dinner. It's a buffet style. So I think I'm gonna have to check it out sometime. Let's see if we can find anything over here. Now something cool I found out about that dinner thing with the orcas, it's like 40 bucks if you do it here, but if you do it online it's 35 for an adult, uh, which doesn't seem too bad, I mean, the food here, most of it's like theme park quality, stuff like that, typical, nothing special, but the meals there are actually you know, real cooked food instead of just frozen stuff they're getting. It's like all sourced out of California, so is the fish, so. Uh, I think I might have to check that out someday. So this is the deal they've got going on for drinks here. So, I think I had it wrong before. I think they do it the same as the zoo, where you get it for free the day you get it, but it's a dollar anytime you bring the cut back, so. I'm gonna have to find a drink here I like. So here you can actually see Dining with the Orca is available today. It was a pretty early time. I'm sure it's later in the summer. Here's a view. And the show is right there on the other side. Pretty neat. If you look around, it's pretty empty today. Maybe it's just the area I'm at. I mean, that is the back of the Orca show. But so far, so good. I'm not complaining. Let's take a look inside of the Shamu shop. Exclusive whale tail necklace. Huh. All the whale merchandise you could ever want. And then some. These are pretty cool. Different types of orca art. Who doesn't love history? And check this out. So apparently right around here by the orca show is where the original entrance was. Opened in 1964, had 435,000 visitors the first year. And they moved the entrance in 1987. That was pretty neat. It's kind of strange though, they say wood frame will always be symbolic of the park's humble beginnings, but looking around here, they don't have a wood frame. I figure they would have kept it here or something. It's kind of funny. I don't think I've ever even stepped foot in here or been back in this section of the park. Interesting, let's check it out. Here's the menu. They got salmon, so that's nice. Looks like they actually got some pretty good stuff here. So inside the cafe here, it's pretty big. They got two sides. I'm assuming the other one opens in summer. For today, it's just the one. All right, so I'm going with the salmon they had over there. It actually looks pretty good. It was a $15.99, which if it tastes like as good as it looks, um, you know, it's still cheaper than any real restaurant you can get it. So I'll let you know how it is. Yeah, so this, this salmon here, it's actually really good. And I haven't eaten everywhere here at Tea World yet, but I plan on it at some point so I can kind of give an assessment all around. But so far, this area, this whole um, 
the place called again shipwreck cafe definitely the best food i've seen here at sea world at first i was concerned like, i didn't think they had like a signature restaurant or anything of that nature but now that i see they got the orca um dining experience thing and then they've got this place which you know it's just a cafeteria style but they're making it all constantly fresh it's good stuff uh, yeah and the vegetables those are good too the prices are about the same as you'll find anywhere else um, in the park also so i highly recommend you know if you're out here come to the shipwreck cafe i think a lot of people know that too because the line was pretty long um, considering but it all looks good so still got to try the cupcake i'll let you know how that is as well Something else I thought I'd mention is you do get rice, a good bit of rice with this uh, meal. They didn't have any soy sauce at all. Like that wasn't even an option. So you got to eat it, I guess, plain, or you're supposed to eat it with the salmon, but that would kind of take away from the flavor. But maybe that's just me, though. Um, so just take a look at the scenery around here. It's pretty, pretty cool. They did a good job theming it. So it's nice to know they got areas like this instead of just a typical little shack set up that has some fried food and whatnot there's better options out there because i get salmon everywhere i go and i don't think i mentioned it but this is like a soy ginger crusted salmon type of thing so very good cake was 269 it was very good it was small but it was really rich it had that super thick icing it was vanilla um, but yeah it was a good cupcake and here's another cool thing about this area you should be able to see some brave souls going by Shortly. I say that because it's a beautiful day here, but it's not quite nice enough to be submerged in that water. And there they come now. <laughs> you also catch a lot of sea turtles over here. This guy's just sunbathing. Again, didn't even know this was here. They're high-fiving the wall. It's the dream boat. Used to be, at least, anyway. It's pretty neat, all these little trinkets they have. Makes me think of uh, Ocean Trader over in uh, Islands of Adventure when you first walk in. Got the sub over here, too. Little fish tank. Yeah, the more I think about it, I feel like I'm at Islands of Adventure right now and not SeaWorld. Just got this stuff everywhere. Look to the other side. It doesn't look quite as intense as Popeye, but I haven't been on it yet, so I don't know. What is this? It's like they've got this stuff, these parks just keep getting bigger and bigger. Let's check it out. Look at this thing. Like some kind of urchin or something. Yep. We've got a red sea urchin and a purple sea urchin. And a cucumber. Take a look in here. This is my new favorite music ever. Leopard shark. Hey, buddy. We're on a feeding time. Too bad I missed that. Poison dart frog. It's another one. The coolest part is this model temple they have. Look at that. There's some sanding right there at the end. There he goes. Oh, there's. Just jumped up on the glass. 
was really cool. I have never even knew that existed. And they had some awesome music playing. You might still be able to hear it, actually. It sounds like something you'd hear walking through, like, Spaceship Earth or something. But that's what's fun about these parks. The more you come, you find something new every time. This is crazy. Right behind me, another aquarium I didn't even know about. It's like, you just you can't get over this. This is awesome. Let's see him hiding up here at the top. Bunch of sea urchins and other things in there. Got the walls all decorated like a comic. This is strange. Men's restroom, women's restroom. And they've got the same thing right over there. I'm guessing one of these must be new. So I've always wondered what they use this for. They've got this huge arena here on Mission Bay. You can see some of the set pieces in the back. Huh, maybe it's for special things or maybe they're putting something new there. A little bit of insight on the uh, Lagoon Stadium, as it's called. So it used to be for the original Dolphin Show, but over the years they've done a bunch of different things there. The Ski Show, I know that's always popular, especially down in Florida, that was a big thing. Too bad they're not using it for anything now. Hopefully soon we'll see something there. I can't believe how tall some of these palms get. And from here you can see a better view. The set piece. And a speaker that they didn't even try to hide. Got a random little thing here of red knobbed hornbills. See one up there in the corner? And there's the other one. colors on this horn. Something else kind of neat they do here is they label almost all their plants. So if you're into plants and trees and things like that, SeaWorld's actually a good place to come for it. There's the Bayside Skyride, 20 minute wait. Never done it. Maybe you should check it out. take your picture on this thing. That's kind of awkward. So that was pretty cool, a sky ride. And I will say, it definitely got chilly. It's almost overcast at this point. The sun's still out, but as the day is going on, it's getting colder. So, it's weird. I probably should have brought a light jacket. <laughs> 50 cent flamingo food. Let's see if they like it. And they're back the other way. <laughs> it's like the ducks one too. <laughs> Get in the Manta line and it's even shorter than before. You can literally walk right on and I actually mean it this time. There's nobody out there. So I just got off Manta twice actually. I was able to come off, walk right back around, like at the end of the queue itself and get on. So something I noticed too, um, I've always thought this about any kind of roller coaster, but the back row is the best. Like you get the most intense feel. It feels like you're going, it's hard to explain, but it feels the most intense in the back row. So especially when you get the launches. Also they changed back the intro to the under the sea thing with the manta from the Christmas thing they had last time. So I'm happy they did that. It's much better the original way. So that's good news. Because everyone loves penguins. Again, here's another building, this penguin encounter. I've never been back here, 
So let's see what's inside. It's pretty chilly in here. Looks like you got a bunch of displays telling you about penguins. So in case you're wondering, it's a moving walkway. And you just go along an exhibit of penguins. Leaping around. Look at the size of that penguin. You may be able to see it better underwater. There's some more of the really big ones back there. Did not go, no penguins could get that big. Watch your step. Be prepared to walk. Hey, and there's the automated voice. Puzzles, pictures, chops. So you can see the whole Christmas village area is getting disassembled. What it looks like they've done is on the rides, any kind of theme or uh, Christmas like season overlay thing or show has changed back so the dolphin show is back to normal man is back to normal all that's changed back however the uh, Decorations and stuff are still out. So I'm assuming those are all gonna be gone by the end of this weekend. This is probably the last chance for it Here's how you can tell Ocean Explorer is new It's like a fresh sticker decal they put on the bottom instead of redoing the whole sign white spotted bamboo shark Good day out here at SeaWorld. I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Um, got to try some new things out. The uh, this sky thing, the gondolas, never did that. It was pretty neat. Get a good view. It'd be better on a warmer day. Um, pretty impressed by that that shipwreck restaurant. Again, that's that's the place to go if you're gonna come here and eat because they have the best options. So make sure you go there instead of the other places. And found a lot of uh, a lot of things I didn't know even existed. In a lot of areas. So, cool stuff. Uh, good day. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time.